Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you my updated foundation routine and as you can see I have quite a lot of blemishes. So the first thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to be putting MAC strobe cream all over my face just to kind of hydrate my face some more. Um, due to the drier winter weather, my face is quite dry so I'm just applying this all over my face, on my cheeks, forehead, down on my neck a little bit just to make sure that we have an even coverage. Then I'm going to be using a face primer. This is e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer and I'm just going to be rubbing this all over my face as well just so we get a nice full coverage so we have a smooth base for all of our foundation and concealers and everything that we are going to be applying onto our face. Next, as you saw, we are going in with my Hard Candy High Coverage Concealer and I'm just putting this all over my little blemishes. Anything that might be red or bumpy or gross, I'm going to be covering with this. And I'm just going to be spreading this in with my finger because I find when I do it with a brush it gets a little streaky. So I'm just rubbing it in with my fingers and then making sure everything's nice and blended and making sure all the redness and blemishes are covered up because that seems to be my weakness. Um, then I'm going in with my Revlon Photo Ready Liquid Foundation and on a foundation brush I'm just going to be rubbing this in making sure that it's nice and blended out. I go in with like a patting motion and then kind of blend it in from there. I do one side of my face and then I do the other and I do everywhere on my face and then I will be going in with a stiffling brush after this just to bring it down onto my neck as well so everything matches perfectly. This foundation does match my skin really well but in the winter I get super pale so I do have to bring a little bit down to my neck but in, under any other circumstances this foundation matches really really well so I'm just blending this in again going over all my blemishes and then here is where I take the stiffling brush and take whatever is left over and bring it down to my neck and kind of blend in on my cheeks a little bit more because that's where most of the redness is and any other blemishes will get covered by that as well. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. I'm just taking a Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil in the color taupe and I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows like I usually always do. I do have a video on how I fill in my eyebrows and this just kind of gives you a general idea. So I kind of go through and just darken them up a little bit because my eyebrows are quite light and I just kind of draw them in and fill them in a little bit more. And then I go in with a spoolie and I just like to brush through them to make sure they look nice and smooth. And then usually at the end, I totally forgot to do this step, but I usually like to use a brow gel as well to make them stay in place all day. Now it's time to apply some powder. This is just a translucent powder by CoverGirl. And on a big fluffy brush, I'm just going in and blending this into my skin to make sure that everything is set in place all day and it looks nice and flawless because I like a very matte look with my foundation. And this powder really adds to that effect so it's nice and matte. Then I'm going to go in and do some bronzer and this I'm using my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm going in with a bronzing brush and I do the fish, fish face and just kind of suck in my cheeks and do the bronzer like that all the way up into my temples and I do this for both sides of my face to make sure that my skin gets a little bit of color in the winter season and then I'll be taking a fluffy um, you know powder brush and just kind of blending that out a little bit so it looks smoothed out and not so harsh because I don't really like it to look that incredibly harsh so I just kind of blend that in so it looks all nice and bronzed then I'm going with my Laura Mercier blush in the color rose bloom and on a blush brush I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of this on my cheeks and I was filming a Christmas makeup look so I wanted my cheeks to be really really rosy and then I just go back in with that same powder brush and I like to blend all that out as well just to make sure that I have a little bit of color on my cheeks but it's not so harsh. And then here I'm showing two setting sprays. I have an e.l.f. one and an Urban Decay one. Both work really, really well, but I've been trying out the Urban Decay one. So for this, I'm going to be showing you the Urban Decay setting spray. So I just open it up and I like to give a nice round spray all over my face. This way our foundation stays in place all day and it has oil control, so it controls that as well. And then here I have the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Comple Complexion Prep Spray. And I just wanted to show you guys this because sometimes I do use this on my face if I don't use the MAC Strobe Cream and my face is looking a little red. I do like to spray this on my face. It just helps control all the redness and pores. And then that is my completed foundation routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Again, thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.